Hi guys, it's Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. And I have finished, I have completed my Rise Up Blanket. Yay me, guys. This is gorgeous. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, Reese, I cannot thank you enough for this yarn. You totally inspired me. I finished it off with a shell border. I believe I did how many? I think I did four, like four double crochets around Madonna. I've sewn in all my ends. Oh, guys, guys, this is seriously more gorgeous in real life than it is on camera. I love this so much. I want to get a, for now, I want to get a dowel and put a dowel through, 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 through and hang it on my wall to just look, just, ah. Okay, so this measure, this yeah, it measures 51 inches, 51 inches across approximately because I have not washed this. I've not blocked this. Um, so yeah, I'm sure what, if you were to block it, it'd stretch out more. As you can see, day number 12 was the green. And then I finished it off with a white, uh, a white border, a shell border. And I will link the video tutorial below that I followed for this, uh, uh, what do you call this? It's the uh, continuous granny square blanket that I did. And I'm calling this blanket my Rise Up blanket because it was Reese who sent me this yarn and I held it together with white yarn that I had and I used the ball winder that she sent me and if you go back in all my videos guys you can see all my daily picks she had sent me well well 12 12 balls of yarn and where's the beginning there's the beginning that and then I picked out of out of a box I picked the yarns I You'll see. I've got a playlist, guys. I'll put the playlist down below. And whoever's been following me knows the colors I picked for all the days that I picked. And yeah, I, I am leftover. I do have leftover yarn. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because I'm anal, as I said in my videos. Um, and... I couldn't make it around for more rows. So every ball, like the beginning ball, gave me this much mixed with white. And then the bigger this grows, you get, you, you use less yarn, right? So every row gets bigger and bigger and bigger around. So you don't have that much yarn to go around. But oh my goodness, I love it so much. I love this thing so much. And okay, so this thing, I weighed it. It weighs 1,275 grams, which is 2.81 pounds. So just under three pounds, this weighs. Um, I said it's about approximately 51 inches. And I believe it's a square. Is it a square? Oh, wait, maybe it's a rectangle. Is it a rectangle or a square? Huh. Well, from here, from this side to this side is 51. I believe it's a square. I never even checked that to see if it wasn't a square. Hang on, let me check that. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put it on the floor. It's, yeah, it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a square. It's like 52. Now I've kind of stretched it out holding it up. So it's like 52 inches by 51. It's kind of rectangular, but not. <laughs> I don't know what to say to you guys. Sorry, I got sun sunshine beaming in on my rise up, rise up.
crochet blanket. Oh, you guys. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm twisting and turning with you guys. But, oh, is this beautiful or is this screaming beautiful? It's screaming beautiful to me. Oh, my goodness, guys. It's done. What do y'all think? I know it's not laying flat, but I'm sure if I was to block it, it would, uh, it would lay out flat. Oh, ah! Do you guys love it as much as I do? So anyway, <laughs> yeah, love, love. You guys gotta try this. Stick some, uh, Stick some, I think it was, uh, yeah, 50 gram, 50 gram balls of yarn uh, in a bucket, in a pail, whatever. Mix it with white yarn or black yarn or any kind of yarn and uh, go to town. They, this, I know it looks like, um, I know it looks like I spent like forever making this. It's just that I haven't been updating, putting up videos all the time. Because this, this thing goes banana crackers fast. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because I used, I remember, I, I hated that. No, I guess it's that I hated the granny square. You know, the granny squares. But I'm becoming more in love with the granny squares. <laughs> but I'm in love with the continuous granny blanket. It whips up like nobody's business at all. You want to make blankets, guys? Do that. But yeah, once again, thank you so much, Reese. Uh, like, wow, you have inspired me by sending me this yarn and my ball winder. You have like blown my mind with excitement and just wow. This is gorgeous. So this might be going with me. I think when my granddaughter it should my granddaughter it will be two the end of March so like March 28th and I'm going oh no Madonna don't look there's a no that is that is sewn in I just didn't cut off I had a lot of excess there that's a lot of excess but I'm gonna re I'm gonna stick a needle on that and re uh Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so much in love. I'm so much in love with this. So much in love. Look at all these colors. Ah! And normally, like, I would not, I would not pick this, this yarn. I'd be like, ooh, no, get that away from me. It's gross. But... <laughs> But look, it worked out. I don't even know where that one is. But doing something like this, ah, oh, I'm in total love. Yep. Um, anyway, so I'm going to package this up. And, uh, well, not yet, because I have to admire it. I might hang it on my wall for a while. Because I will be going back to the UK sometime in June. Or July stay tuned for why in another video but yeah oh guys thank you all so much for following this journey of my rise up crochet blanket rise up rise up oh like the Sun oh I just love it I oh, know I know be quiet Lisa enough already not stunning Oh, this was so much fun, guys. I had, like, the time of my life making this. I really did. I honestly did. And, it, like I said, it goes so fast. So fast. So, like I said, I will link below the um, tutorial I followed for the continuous granny square blanket. Get it on your hooks, guys. If I can do it, you can do it. This is so simple, so easy, so fast, so fun. 
You could whip out these blankets like nobody's business. Ah, I love it. And thank you so much, Reese, for sending me the yarn. Ah. But yeah, this might, this, I, I'm hoping my daughter likes it and I'm hoping to bring this to the UK when I go again. And this could be put on um, Bethany's big girl bed. And she moves into her big girl bed. Wouldn't that be cute? Laying at the end of her bed. You know, you put a nice little, look at that. Ah! Okay, I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys so much. And everybody that helped me that night that I was in full panic mode. And they are. That, that, um, that mess up I did got totally lost. You can't even tell. Totally, totally lost when I, uh, you know, in the corners where you're supposed to do the corners. You can't even see my mistake. Ah! Love it. One more show off. One more show off. Love you all. Thank you so much. Bye.